Initializing embedded web browser. First main text box. Logging in. Verifying cache files can take 60 to 90 seconds. Logging in. Hello everyone. The design solution that we came up with was to develop an accessible open source viewer which we've called Access Globe, which is an alternative to the client that you might download to use with Second Life. This open source viewer incorporates specific features that make it more accessible for people with disabilities. That is, includes enhanced accessibility of the menus, alternatives to relying on mouse-driven interface, audio notification, Similarly, you can hear anything that is typed into the text chat window and also a visual notification of any sound effects that are happening or streaming audio that might be happening in the background. And we've learned a great deal from the developments of the Virtual Helping Hands group and applied some of those technological solutions to the development of our 3D accessible learning environment. We've been developing a web-based system which enables 3D virtual presentations to be also presented and attended and participated through the web interface. Now, the web interface enables participants to have complete access to chat, screen-readable display of the slide show presentation which appears in the chat window on the web page as well as the visual representation on the web page as well as the actual slide. The support for mobile phones and other devices uh, such as iPhone, PDA devices and any other kind of mobile phone device. Audio streams so that the participants via the web can still hear the audio and the voice that's coming from the 3D virtual world. We're currently developing a suite of educational tools as well as the guidelines so that it makes it much easier for teachers to incorporate these features into their own teaching and learning materials and we're continuing to develop the open source platform which is licensed under Creative Commons licensing agreement. Thank you.